Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are in San Pedro, California. Yeah. At the San Pedro Fish Market. We're at the OG Fish Market where they're known for the world's uh, world, world famous. famous fish tray. I mean, fish tray. Shrimp tray. Shrimp, tray. <laughs> Shrimp tray. Right. Now, we've been to the San Pedro Fish Market in Long Beach, uh -huh. uh, which was one of their newer locations, but a lot of viewers uh, recommended to, to point to, to the, the original. Oh gee, yep, yeah, we're here. So here we are. We're gonna get our shrimp tray on yeah. and some other seafood. Yeah, we are. You ready? Ready. Let's go. When you first walk in, there's the big counter yeah. with a lot of the fresh seafood yeah. that you could pick for your shrimp tray. Yeah, but we're going to go check out another section with the whole fish. And it's busy in here. Yeah. Nice. And this is a random Tuesday afternoon. A lot of people. A lot of people. Look how big this yellowtail is. Babe. That's great. Look at that. Yeah. Very humongous. Yeah. Put your hand there for like comparison. Yeah. That's that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, and then here's um, cargo. I never heard of this fish before. And then we have uh, some pompano. I think this is what we're going to get right here, right? Yeah. yeah. We love this fish fried. Yeah. Uh, they also have some barramundi and some uh, striped bass. Here we have some trout along some wild flounders. What's a porgy? Uh, these it kind of looks like a like perch or yeah, something. Cute. What do we have here? Oh, he, this is a very popular it's one. Tilapia. You can tell by how much fish they have here. Uh, the tilapia is ten ninety nine a pound. These look like some rock cod and some oh, hot, wild red snappers, and these are uh, fifteen ninety nine. And of course, we have some mussels. And clams. Octopus. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's octopus. It's the prices on these. Wild Maine lobster. Yeah, we're getting our thoughts together, trying to figure out where we're going to order. We're not going to try to order a lot because it's only the two of us, but it's going to be massive. It will be. Because it is. Everything looks so good. There it is. Just make crawfish. So you don't have to go to New Orleans, babe. I still want to go to New Orleans. Flights are a little bit off right now, time-wise, and so I'll just have to do it here for now. Number one, it's number one is about two and a half pounds of clean shrimp, that's right here. Yeah, so she just scooped that. Yeah. That's a lot of shrimp, right, for, a for one shrimp. tray. It is. What you doing, babe? So this is the way, uh, I, I, we saw Mark Green's video, and this yeah. is the way he did it. We just got a bag, uh, and then we get your tray over here. And tell me if you, this is correct in the comments below, but uh, this is the way to pick like a very fresh fish is look at the eyes that if it's cloudy you may not want to get it so get one with nice clear eyes right so we're gonna get a pump it up and if you look at some of the eyes here this one looks pretty clear what do you think this one or this one either one yeah okay we're gonna go for this one here that's pretty pretty good good weight to it mm -hmm. so there we go and that's how you bag a fish without getting your hands uh Kind of fishy, right? And now we're going to give it to the guy over here. Can we have a fry, please? Yeah. So the three 
areas here. If you just want to get a shrimp tray only, there's a line here only for a shrimp tray. Yeah, right over here. And oh. regular menu items and like tacos and such. Items. The line that we were in is we wanted fresh seafood with it. So we were in the line. You can get the shrimp tray at all different places. So the one we got with fresh seafood, we waited in that line, picked our seafood. Plus we added a whole fish that's over in this other line. Yeah, which is right over there in the shark. That's the seafood line. And, and in the room I'm at now, this is where you get, get your live lobsters, live crabs here. You can order it here. Yeah, so it could be a little confusing if you yeah. first walk in yes. over here. Yeah, so sea or shrimp trays, what they're known for only this line here. Right. Fresh seafood. There's a line with their seafood counter. Live lobsters and um, and crabs. The size of that shrimp tray right here that's got to be one of the biggest ones look at that wow You have a little friend here. What in the world did you order, babe? One shrimp tray of corn. I don't know what happened. It like exploded when well, I cooked it. This I get, but we have a mound of shrimp tray here and another one here. I guess we get one each. So, it says two to four people, right? We got our beers. They happened to run out of Dos Equis, so she gave me whatever was left in the keg, which was this much. But we went big, and we got actual Corona inside this one. I don't know how many ounces it is, but not only one, but we got two. So, yeah, we have two big beers, plus one pint, all this massive amount of seafood platter right here, plus the corn and our fried tilapia. Not tilapia, but our uh, pompano. pompano. Yeah, this, this is a crazy amount. So we're gonna put this pompano on top of the, uh, the shrimp platter so we get a great looking thumbnail. You got it, babe? I got it. So it's not our favorite, but the Modelo Dos Equis and um, what's that other? No, uh, What'd you get? The, the other third beer, they're, they're tapped out. Oh. So all they had was uh, Corona and uh, the uh, Corona Light. Oh, And that okay. was it. So we just went for the regular Coronas. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. That's good. Wish us we're luck. Ready. We're going to go for it now. So just so you know how much food this is, this is this all together with the fish, with all of our fresh seafood and our corn, not including the alcohol, is 260. So this is what 260 will give you. Definitely enough for four people, five, maybe even six people. Yeah, well you yeah. can see they gave us four more cups. Yeah, so in anticipation wise, of the beer. Yeah. Do we get we kinda of overzealous on the drink, but that's okay. Uh, lift up the garlic bread. Let's see what's underneath. It's just more right crawfish, right? Yep. So we got cre king crab legs, the shrimp tray that came with potatoes, onions, peppers. Here's our crawfish here. We have some sausage. This is their hot link sausage. On this side, we have one lobster, it's hiding which is under right that. here. Yeah. And we have a fried fish. So we got, oh, and the... I forgot large scallops. So we got about 
five or six different types of fresh seafood along with the shrimp tray. But you can see the shrimp tray is already massive. This is gonna be delicious. I forgot the corn and corn. So they have three different seasonings. They have garlic butter, Cajun, and a spicy one. So we got a mixture of garlic butter, garlic butter and the Cajun. So I'm gonna dip it in all this juice. These are the large scallops. Perfectly cooked scallop. Great, great texture to that salad, scallop. The sauce, very light. I can taste the garlic, I can taste the butter. I can taste the, just a little bit of a kick. So this is gonna be perfect for us. That's a very good scallop. And then the potato. Mm. It's like a uh, mix of fajita vegetables, mm -hmm. right? Cooked perfectly. Um, the way they name it in the shrimp tray is fajita style. So. That potato is cooked perfectly. It's really creamy on the inside. That great taste on the outside of that garlic butter and that Cajun spice. That is amazing. So far, we're off to a good start. This stuff is legit. This is the original, the OG San Pedro Fish Market. This is where you're going to get this massive meal. I'm going to start out and try this shrimp out. Of course, dab it into that. Uh, garlic butter and Cajun seasoning. Mm. The Cajun seasoning is spiced just right. It's not hot at all. So you don't have to worry about it being too spicy. It just has a very mild kick to it. Of course, like you tried the potatoes out. Delicious potatoes, baby. Yes, with the onions, bell peppers. Everything is here. Just a great combination of fresh seafood, vegetables. Awesome and this is the view. perfect, yeah, this is the perfect meal for this type of setting. Hey, look, there's a harbor cruise about ready to leave right there. And plus, I don't know if you can hear it because we're mic'd up, but there's some mariachis or some bands in the back. Yeah, they're kind of far though. Yeah. Let me try some of this hot links out. Is it truly a hot link? Great sausage flavor. Look at the inside of that. It is a little bit on the hot side, but it isn't too bad. And that's exactly why you have some beer. Oh yeah. Sausage, beer, potatoes. It just balances everything out. It's really good. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm ready to get my hands dirty now, so I'm gonna first try my crawfish. Good looking crawfish. Go ahead and snap off that tail. Let's clean it up a bit. All right. And let's try this out of it. Put it in the sauce. Get that sauce. That tail is filled with that croft, with that saucy goodness. Mm. Wow. That sauce is delicious with this crawfish. I know I'm missing New Orleans, but this crawfish, it's very nice, very succulent. This crawfish is delicious. Now, let's see what else I can get my hands dirty with. This corn, and they keep on bringing out new corn all the time. Yeah, it's a great deal for the corn, mm. too. Our corn, it's juicy, it's sweet. Good snap to it. It doesn't taste like it was like boiling in like water forever, like you would get in some corn. This is a really good corn. And hands are dirty. What's next? Let us dig into this fish. This fish. Now you can choose how you want it cooked, grilled, fried, any way you want. So we want it fried because we've had fried papano before. You can see how meaty this fish is. I know Leslie, who loves pompano, 
I know her mouth is watering right now. As I'm peeling away this fish, you can see that that lovely oil that's in this fish. Let's get that little piece there with that crunchy skin. I'm gonna dip it in this sauce right here. Mm. That is delicious. Nothing like a fried pompano to really go with this meal. Of course, my beer. So did I pick a good pompano, babe? You picked a good one, baby. It is excellent. It has that great pompano taste or that fish taste, but it's not fishy. King crab legs. This is the smaller one. Look at some of the bigger ones we have right here. Look at, look at it, just dripping that garlic butter. Wow. Oh, look at this piece. Oh, it came out pretty good, babe. Hey, it's not too bad. Go for the little dip, of course, yep. in here. No extra butter needed, huh, babe? No. Garlic butter, Cajun. This uh, king crab leg is delicious. Of course, I wish I could get out a bigger piece. I'm gonna have to peel off the skin a little bit. I can't get a good pull out, but you can just see how tender this crab meat is right here. Even without putting it in the sauce, very sweet. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Remember when we had king crab legs in Alaska, babe? Oh yeah. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Huh? Off the Bering Sea. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that was that was an experience because you know that came off the ships like the Northwestern and <laughs> the, what was some of the other ones? Cornelia Marie. Yeah, right. Time Bandit. Right. You know it came off those ships, so it, it made it extra special eating the king crab in Alaska. Bering Sea Gold. Oh yeah, Bering Sea Gold. But for here, this is San Pedro Gold. This garlic bread, they see, you see it grilling as they're cooking your shrimps and stuff. When someone's there grilling all of this bread. One shrimp tray comes with one, both sides of the garlic bread. You can order extra garlic bread. You can order extra shrimp. You can pretty much order anything extra you want. But I'm gonna go try this right here. Dip it in this sauce, because this sauce is the elixir that marries everything together. Anybody want a bite? Look at that garlic bread. Oh, wow. If this bread was always like this, I'd be eating it every day. So good thing. Even though this place is close to us, we're not here more than we are. I mean, the last time we were here was like a couple years ago, huh, baby? At least, but we never got the shrimp tray here. No. First time. This is delicious. So, garlic bread. Very moist on the inside. Is it really garlic bread? It could be garlic butter on it. Right? I don't taste too much of garlic. I taste a lot of butter and the crispiness of the bread. The bread is moist. It's not dry. Plus, you dip it in this sauce. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is the way to eat it. Here we go. Wow. This is about a pound, not quite a pound and a half, but a pound and a quarter right. or so. Oh, my gosh. This thing is... Huge. Humongous. <laughs> oh yeah. You wow. got it. It came from the depths of not the ocean, but the depths depths of the uh, shrimp tray. <laughs> we have a awesome looking lobster right here. Now it's time to crack the lobster. I'm gonna take the tail off and uh, pretend like I know what I'm doing. Hey, that wasn't too bad. I butchered it up. I couldn't get the whole tail off. I got it off in pieces. It's okay? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Would you pass on it next time? Yeah, it's, it's okay. It, it's not as like buttery and soft, but I'm used to lobster tails being. Great lobster flavor though. Maybe we'll try to get some more meat out of the claws. But as of right now, yeah, it was just the lobster is okay. Okay, I'm getting down and dirty with this meal. Only way to do it here in San Pedro. I got my king crab leg. I think I got a piece coming out. Ah, it's pretty clean. 
Not bad. That's pretty clean in there. Go ahead. Just try it out before I dip it in this sauce. Mmm. Delicious. The taste. The perfect sweetness of that king crab. Comes out really nice and whole. Now we're going to dip it into this sauce. Look at that. Mouthful of goodness. Wow. That crab. It's juicy. The natural taste of that crab comes out. That sweetness doesn't need the sauce. It just enhances it. We've been here for yep. like a little over half hour. We have And been. this is the dent that we made. Which Not too hardly, bad, right? Hardly anything. And our beers. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of beers left. <laughs> what was sad though, is the lobster, as you can see on his tray, it was a miss. Yes. Yeah, a bit too mushy for us. We know the claws are not going to be any better, so it was a miss. Yeah. So, heads up on the lobster. You know what? Maybe we're just used to live lobster, babe. Maybe. Yeah. But everything else so far is outstanding. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. We did. We got a lot of leftovers. Though. Yeah, they, uh, we got it in the metal to go yeah. tray with some lemons. And about halfway in our beer. I don't know if we're we'll probably tap out. I think you were overzealous in the beer, babe. You think just so? A little bit, yeah. We still got a couple of uh, couple glasses yep, here. Yeah, and we're just Salute, enjoying babe. the sights, sitting around. And it's kind of busy here, actually, for a random Tuesday. It's kind it of is. busy. It is. It's a perfect, uh, like, low 70 degree temperature here in San Pedro. Right, right. Uh, you know, cool was the uh, the mariachi bands. Yeah. We thought they cool. only play on the weekends, but they do play during the week. They do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I got shout a few shout-outs, shout outs, babe. Okay, and let's Christopher, do it. happy birthday and good luck of moving to Ohio. Warren and Adriana, enjoy your cruise and happy anniversary. James and Sherry, happy anniversary. Carrie and Jim, thanks for watching and enjoy your cruise. Everybody's going on cruises, Wow, babe. yeah. Uh, Mary and Jason, have a great time in Canada. Uh, Warren, happy birthday. Kay, happy birthday. Santee, happy birthday. Joshua, happy birthday. And April, happy birthday. And don't forget to subscribe, guys if you want to see what our crazy adventures are going to be. We just suck up a poll on our community page of it. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah we have a, a week off for vacation In next month. Mid middle of May. Right. And we don't know where we're going yet. We're thinking, I think the poll was Ireland, Hawaii. Uh, Iceland. Iceland. Uh, or uh, the New England, England states, states. Yeah. right? So be sure to go see that poll. But we're also thinking, I don't know if we want to go on another cruise, but maybe out of New Orleans, maybe, or out of Miami. Hmm. Yeah, we so yeah, we have one week off, so we want to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're we're definitely going to value your opinions. So be, yeah. make sure you vote on that community. Yeah, post. I don't know if you want to go back to Vegas for a week. Yeah, it's too close to us, baby. Huh? Not Vegas, yeah, close. not yeah. Vegas. That's a weekend trip. Yeah, and I think we're going to be there soon. Anyways, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We are. Uh, is there anything else, babe? Um, I think that's it. Be sure to subscribe. Yes. Um, if you don't subscribe, at least watch the video. Because uh, we have fun doing it. And I hope we're bringing that fun to you guys. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's it, babe. Oh, hold yeah. on a second. Um, Let me do this real quick. Somebody, that's it. Somebody tried to airdrop me yeah. something. That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks everybody for watching our San Pedro Seafood Fest. Yeah, it, it was, was epic. It was epic. It was massive. It was Ginormous. massive. Ginormous. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's how we got. That's how we got a lot of leftovers. We're gonna probably drop them off to the kitties. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 They'll enjoy it too. Yeah, they will. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, tomorrow we have another plan, but we'll yeah. reveal that on the next video. Until then, we'll catch you guys on the next one.